before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so in order to know more about the visa policy of equatorial guinea just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the countries that can travel to equatorial guinea without any visa these countries are like some african countries around equatorial guinea you can see the list over here like cameroon chad uh, gabon republic of congo and united states and china you can find also that united arab emirate citizens can get a visa on arrival for the rest of the world you will need to apply for visa before traveling to equatorial guinea so in order to fill the visa application form for equatorial guinea just click over this link over here and the application form will start downloading let me open it for you i just downloaded it and it is opening right now let me show you okay this is the visa application form of equatorial guinea just uh, print it and fill all these sections your name and all the details and don't forget that this section here in the far right this margin is just for the consulate uh, use don't write anything and in the end just write the place and the date and don't forget to sign this visa application form to submit the visa application form along with all the required uh, documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video just click over this link over here then this page will appear in front of you and will show you the embassies of equatorial guinea all over the world you can uh, see that they have embassies in egypt in congo in china in cameroon you can see all in spain uh, in turkey in india uh, in morocco in many uh, countries so all what you need is just for example to click over the embassy name here and you will find the telephone number and the email also so you can contact uh, the embassy before going or you can just uh, appear in front of the embassy and you can hear or you can see also here that there is uh, the address of the embassy in each uh, country you can just go to the embassy along with all your documents submit your documents and expect to get the visa the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport. Make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear. You will need also photocopies of your passport. At least make sure you have three photocopies. Sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages, but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamp pages and the other visas you have in your passport. You will also need to submit personal pictures. Make sure that your picture is new, not older than six months, with a white background, unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else, and with clear face details. You will also need a visa application form. This visa application form could be filled and submitted online. Other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer, then printed and signed. And other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually. All depend on your destination and the type of the visa you are applying for. You will also need to submit a proof of status. If you are an employee, then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of, of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status 
you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality. Uh, in that case, you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country. You will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds. It should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank. Number eight is your flight reservation. It should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket. Number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel. Sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip. Number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another